Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I have an exciting topic. I wanna to talk about why you'd wanna choose a glass rigid panel over other types of panels on the market. Now you guys know I love to talk about portable solar panels or flexible solar panels, but those aren't perfect for every situation. And these glass rigid panels have a ton of benefits. Now this is perfect timing because Bouge RV wanted to send out their 180 watt solar panel and that's what this is. So we're going to dive into some of the specs, show you guys the sizing, weight of the solar panel, and then talk about why you'd want to choose a glass solar panel. And then we'll take it outside and do some testing. Hope you guys are excited. Let's just dive right into it. Now this panel is fairly large. Let's go ahead and start off with the dimensions. The panel is 58 and a quarter inches tall, which is right under five feet. Now it's a little over two feet at 26 and a quarter inches wide. And it's a little under one and a half inches thick. Now this is a monocrystalline panel, comes in at 24 pounds or 10.9 kilograms. On the back of the panel, there's a junction box that's IP65 rated, and it comes with three foot long MC4 connections. Now these MC4 connections do come with these stickers to label positive and negative, but just to be safe, I like to take a silver Sharpie and mark positive and negative on the actual connections. Now this is the DSM 180 watt. Peak power should be right around 19.5 volts at 9.21 amps. And we'll go ahead and test that when we take it outside. Now I briefly want to talk about a few advantages to using a glass rigid panel like this. Now there's three advantages that come to mind. One would be durability, the next one would be life expectancy, and the third one would be actual cost. Now these are extremely durable. You don't have to worry about rain or wind or snow loads or even dust. They're weather resistant and you're not going to have any issues with that because it has a durable aluminum frame around the outside that's not going to rust. And then you have a really nice tempered glass panel. Now the next benefit would be life expectancy. Now these are designed to last for 20 to 25 years without any issues. Over that period of time, you will see a little bit of loss of the actual efficiency. Sometimes it's around 20 to 30%, but over that period of time, it's definitely going to provide enough electricity to pay for itself. Now, if you compare that to flexible or portable solar panels that usually only last three to five years, you're gonna get a lot longer life out of a solar panel like this. Now, the third benefit would actually be the cost. Now, these usually come in around $1 per watt or less. Now, it depends on if you have any coupons or things like that. So you should see a really good price on these rigid panels compared to flexible or portable units. You usually pay around $2 a watt, which is double the price of a panel like this. Let's go ahead and take this outside to see how it stands up to the advertised claims, see what type of power we can get out of this. Okay guys, I got the Bouge RV 180 watt solar panel outside. Now I have it sitting on a piece of wood here so the grass isn't in the way of the solar panel. And I also have it propped up on the back at a specific angle. Let me show you how to set up the angle for the sun because it changes throughout the year. So for this quick trick, you just take a can and you set it on the solar panel and you just wanna make sure you point it at the sun until the shadow goes away. Now you can see the shadow is just super minimal here. So we're lined up really good with the sun. Let's go ahead and see what type of power we're getting out of the solar panel. Okay, so right now we're seeing 170 watts input. It's at 18.49 volts at 9.21 amps. So pretty good numbers for the high clouds today. I'd expect to see a full 180 watts out of this if it was a perfectly sunny day. Now I thought it'd be good to show you guys the testing conditions today. Now it is a fall day, the temperature is around 60 degrees, so not gonna see any issues with temperature affecting the solar panels. And usually when you have a hot solar panel, you get less power, but we do have a few high clouds. So we'll see a little bit of wattage uh, decrease because of that. Now, not everyone's gonna be using the solar panel at such a good angle. Let's see what power we get when it's completely flat on the ground. Okay, with it laying flat on the ground, we're getting 98 watts. Now you can see it's jumping around a little bit because I have a little bit of high clouds, but you can see the power difference when it's laying flat on the ground. So this is what you'd expect to see if you couldn't angle it properly at the sun. Now I thought it'd be useful to mount the panel in one more orientation, just at a slight angle, like if it was on my shed. Now I do have plans to put some rigid panels on my shed. So let's see what type of performance I would get if it's tilted like this during a fall type season. Now with the solar panel slightly angled, we're seeing 150 watts input onto this battery, sitting around 18.5 volts at 8.13 amps. Now we definitely see more power input as we have a slight angle on it. I'm happy with these results as this was what I'd see if it was mounted on my shed roof. Now just one more note about the solar panel uh, laying like this all year round. Now in the summer, the sun is much higher in the sky, so you're gonna get more efficiency, more power out of the solar panel versus what it is right now in the fall. The sun's basically coming at this crazy angle this way, so you have to mount it straight up and down almost to get the most power. 
So just a little note there that uh, in the summer, you're gonna see a lot of more power out of the panel like this. And I thought it'd be useful to show you the power input you could get on a Blue Eddy EB70. Now you remember this has the eight amp limit, so 155 watts is kind of the limit unless you had a higher voltage. But this is great power input on this EB70 from the Bouge RV 180 watt solar panel. Now the solar panel is definitely providing more wattage. It's the EB70 that's capped out at its maximum charging amount. Now one other way you could use uh, this solar panel would be to over panel a small power station. Now there's 180 watts waiting to be used, but this power station only takes about 68 to 66 watts to charge. But if a cloud comes around or if it's later in the day, you can get this 68 watts maximum charging input a lot more frequently. So it's kind of nice to over panel a power station like this so you always get the max charging rate. And that's perfect with this Bouge RV 180 watt solar panel. Okay guys, what'd you think of those solar results? Now, the thing that stood out most to me was the amount of power we got when it was flat on the ground versus a slide angle versus angled completely at the sun. Then we saw basically half the power when it was sitting flat on the ground. So you're gonna see much more efficiency if you try to angle these towards the sun, especially if you could use that little trick with the can and get it at the exact angle that you need. We saw almost near 100% power on this. And so that was even with a few clouds. So I, could, I would expect to see 180 watts out of this in good conditions uh, during the summer. Now, before talking about price, I just wanna clarify, there are two downsides to having a panel like this. Now, a lot of times you'll we'll have this in a position that it's you know mounted to a roof or to the top of a car and it's a fixed position. So you won't be able to adjust the uh, angle. And so that's kind of a downside to these glass rigid panels versus a portable or folding solar panel that you can move around. The other downside to this is just the weight. They're big and they're bulky and they're pretty heavy. Now, if those aren't a big deal to you and you want to have a panel that can sit out all the time uh, in the weather conditions, rain, snow, whatever you want, then you definitely want to look for a glass rigid panel. And this Bouge RV 180 watt is a great option. Now let's talk about price. This comes in at $167 with my 13% off discount code. Now, when Bouge RV sent this out, they wanted to make sure that my viewers had a special deal. So check out the video description down below if you wanna save 13% on the solar panel. In fact, I was so happy with this performance. I picked up two additional solar panels for a special project coming up. So hopefully you guys are excited to see that I have some big plans for these solar panels to charge up a pretty big battery. But uh, basically, I'd pay the same price you guys are gonna pay, and uh, I can't wait for them to arrive. Now, if you guys have any questions about why you should choose a glass rigid panel over a portable solar panel, let me know. I just wanted to throw out this video so you guys could know that there's multiple options. You don't have to stick with a portable folding solar panel. You can go with these big glass rigid panels and get great results. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.